It's time to find out where in the world is Bruce Michael. Technically, where we are right now is about eight degrees south of the equator in the Pacific Ocean, just off the coast of Peru, Ecuador. Ecuador is our next stop. But I want to tell you about my last stop, which was a three-day journey into Machu Picchu. And yeah, that's how you say it, it's Machu Picchu. I always call it Machu Picchu for these years, but just goes to show what I know. And actually, what I knew about Machu Picchu is totally different than what the real story is. Come, let's take a look at some pictures and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. Machu Picchu has been on my travel bucket list forever. Saturday, I crossed the lost city of the Incas off my bucket list, and after a plane ride to Cusco, a bus ride to Olentatambo, and then a train ride to Machu Picchu Village, it was then up the winding switchback trail to the entrance of the park. The scope of this site is about 8,000 feet above sea level, and it is impressive. Then you start to ponder the real questions like, how did the Inca get these amazing boulders up or down these mountains, and then stacked with the precision of some of today's finest engineers? After visiting with the guides and protectors on the Inca culture on site, I discovered that Machu Picchu was actually a site under construction. Most of it was never completed, and we will never know why. The Incas were farmers. They studied the sun, the seasons, the rain, and the clouds in order to determine how much food would be needed for the coming year. The Inca, these farmers, had a great respect for the land and the bounties that Mother Earth provided. It's a shame that so much of Inca history was never written down. It was pillaged by greedy explorers, the conquistadors, and others who simply were concerned with profits and not the protection of history. You know, the fact that so much history about this place and this society was lost because of greed is really disheartening. But, you know, there's a story to be told, and I guess eventually we'll find out more about what the Incas were up to and why they were up to. It wasn't the Spanish that took the Inca people out, it was smallpox. Just goes to show you, wash your hands, especially when you travel. Up next, the Panama Canal and Ecuador. So stay with me as we travel together on Bruce's journey around the world, or whatever we're calling it.